So one of my favorite like chapters in IU Kokomo history is the IUK Film Society. So in 1977, Alan Safiano and Ray Archer, who are two faculty here, decided that they wanted to bring art films and international films to Kokomo because there really just weren't that many options or opportunities to see interesting film, especially interesting film that wasn't like currently showing in theaters. So they started a film society and it was a membership organization. Originally they thought they might get like 30 to 40 students for like 15 bucks a year, but they actually ended up getting over 100 members to join. And so you could come and you could go into Haven's Auditorium and see these incredible films on a huge projector screen better than most movie theaters, right? Especially back in the 70s. They did a lot of Stanley Kubrick, a lot of Hitchcock, Ingmar Bergman, also a lot of the Akira Kurosawa. So really cool, like I think he's described as a Soviet Japanese director, right? But one of the most prolific and important directors of all time. But in Kokomo, Indiana in 1978, how much opportunity did you have to see an Akira Kurosawa film? Probably not much, right? I think. Today it's kind of almost hard to wrap our minds around how exciting a film society like that would have been because they didn't have VHS players, much less streaming video like we have now. So to be able to get together with a big group of folks, sit in the beautiful Havens Auditorium, watch a film, and then afterwards go out for a bite to eat and talk about it, like that's pretty dang cool that we had that here. This has been a One Minute Monday from the Archives with Meg. If you liked what you saw and heard, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube to see more. We'll see you next time. One day. Boom, look, finally learning. <laughs> yeah.